Hi guys, Lewis Taylor here. Fast Tag tonight have been invited down to the opening of the Serge Janine pop-up store right here on our doorstep at Carnaby Street. There's a few Made in Chelsea lot around. I'm going to ask them about the collection, but more importantly, what is happening next season? Come with me. What's up, Proud Good to see you, man. Uh, How are you? Time. I missed him. <laughs> I missed this guy. Friend of Fashtag, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. No worries. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Loving life. So tell me a little bit about why you're here. I'm um, just supporting Proud Lot. Um, obviously, it's a big deal for him. And, you know, just showing my face to support him. It's the launch night of our Surge Offbeat Sessions. We've got music, we've got beers. It's, it's busy. It is busy. It's hot in here. Okay, so the last time I came, you had a, a smaller, a smaller venue. Absolutely. There's a lot more clothes here. Talk me through yes. the concept. Uh, so the concept of this store is called Head to Toe. So we have five brands in total. My brand size team alongside four other brands. And as a man, you can come to the shop and be dressed head to toe. So we have a shoe brand Oliver Sweeney. We've got love brand board shorts. We've got our scarf, social media tea, sweatshirts, jewelry. We have Finian Co sunglasses, and we have Morgan World bags. And have you actually got any of the collection yourself? I have it because it's all mainly boys stuff, but I mean, I quite like wearing boys clothes, so I might see if I can grab a couple of tees or something. I like, I like baggy tees. Well, Lucy doesn't have any of the collection, do you? Is the question. I actually I do yes. because um, Josh, <laughs> guy on the show, left a beanie. Um, in my handbag, so I have a red Serge Nim uh, beanie. So. so what's new with the collection? What's new with the collection? We have the summer collection, all this stuff here. We have our vests, which come out for the summer, obviously. And then we have all these kind of all over, very flowery prints. It's much more of a summery vibe. Have you got a favourite? My favourite right now, do you know what? In terms of a t-shirt, this is my favourite. Do you nice. know why? One, because I love black and it's simple and clean. But if you feel it, brother, feel that. Oh, sensual. It's made out of bamboo. No. This is 100% bamboo, so it's extra soft. I love it, but what's best suited for me? Bearing in mind, I'm not much of a tank top guy. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go tank top with you, bro. No, I'm too skinny. Look because, at me. Just because you're so manly, <laughs> extra manly, I think this, this flower, the all-over nice. flower one would suit you well. That would help the situation yes, I'm in. Yes, I think this would make you extra manly. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, talk to me about your look. You're very summery. What are you actually wearing head to toe? So, I've got Dior um, sunglasses. Um, this is what I like to call yeah, Tiffany's wardrobe, which is my sister. Um, nice. She'll probably kill me if she ever sees this. I think it's from Topshop. Um, these are from Marge, um, Nine West. Um, oh, my cords. Um, the gold rings, yeah. So talk to me a little bit about your outfit. Head to toe, please. Um, it wasn't a very well thought out advert. Uh, advert uh, outfit. It's practical, though. Well, it's very hot, and I wish I'd gone a bit skimpier. But I'm wearing an amazing lipsy top. I'm a big fan of pearls, so I like that. You mean fake pearls? <laughs> they are fake, but these aren't, okay? And so, yeah, I've got a lot of You pearls. looked at me then like... What? Yeah, how could you yeah. out me on a fashion yeah. channel? Um, and then I'm wearing uh, Abercrombie jeans and Russell and Bromley wedges. Um, embarrassingly enough, I bought these wedges because Pippa Middleton wore them to Wimbledon last summer. But they're like a really classic staple piece of mine now. And I'm wearing a uh, really cool underwear, but my... Oh my god, bit, please. No, it's like, there you go. Matching underwear, that's how I Love roll that. Now. So Made in Chelsea, we can't not talk about it. What can we expect from you next season? Um, next season, who knows, man. I'm, you know, obviously we've had a little break now, it's been nice. And, um, you know, always new, new seasons, there'll be new characters, no doubt. Um, there's a few exciting things that I'm going to be exploring, which I'm looking forward to. So I think it's going to be uh, bigger and better than ever. So the thing I think about you, Made in Chelsea guys, is like, my opinion has changed so much of you, especially in this coming series. You've like come across so much better. Is that like refreshing to see so that people really know what you're like? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's like with the first series, I think I did a couple of things for entertainment reasons because yeah. I was new to it. But realistically, there's enough drama involved without having to force it. So I just decided with the, the next series that I was going to be myself. And I'm so glad that people like me because that is me. And it's yeah. nice to get kind of like um, appreciated and to kind of get a fan base for what I'm really like. How does it feel like, not even not necessarily not liking you, but people having opinions for the whole of the UK? When I first started, it was really intense. I prepared myself for the worst, because that's the kind of person I am. 
Um, but there were days when I would just, it would get a bit on top of me and it would just be a bit kind of like scary, you know, going on the tube and having people be like, fing hate you. Can I swear? Yeah, swear. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next season, what can we expect from you? Um, hopefully, a few more smiles than last series. I think last series was really tough for me, but everything I did, it, I was true to myself. Um, yeah. I just hope I'm in a much better place in my life now. It's hard to go through a breakup on camera. No, Come but here. it is. It's <laughs> hard to have a breakup on camera. You must be so fed up to the point where you don't want to talk about bloody Spencer. Is that true? I don't want to talk about Spencer. <laughs> I knew you'd give that reaction. That's why I phrased the question like yeah. that. But what can we expect you for the next series? Um, I mean, he's in my eyes. He's not in. I'm not going to be communicating with him. So I don't know what the future holds. Any new love? I really hope not. You do something and then you kind of learn from it. So now I think I'm going to put my wall back up. Right. Get back into my comfort zone of being single, you see, which is what I enjoy. You've moved on from Ollie, obviously, and you've got a new boyfriend now. I do have a new boyfriend. And can we expect him on the show? He's a professional rugby player, so obviously he has his own profession. I'm sure that if he needed, if I needed to Does he play for England? Yeah. I'm sure if um, I need defending. Hansel? No, stop guessing this. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> can, can I just say that Gavin Hansen is Welsh for a start? Oh. <laughs> Did he get that on camera? Yeah, they will. I hope that will make that. the edit. That will make the edit. Um, no, I'm not going to say anything about who he is at this stage. English rugby player. This is the first time I've said I have a boyfriend. So nice. Well done. Exclusive for Lewis. Hashtag because I love you guys. <laughs> I look forward to seeing uh, Chillax, girly Ashley on the next season. But thank you so much for joining us thank at Fast Tag. High five. Fashion kiss. Good to see you, hun. Mwah. Mwah. Three. Mwah. <laughs> Give me a high five. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. Padlock. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. No worries. Okay, guys, I think it's a night for me, but as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to Fashtag. See you later. Mwah. I'm going home. It's mental. For those of you who don't know, Fashtag has been. Oh, why can't I say have been? I'm going to ask some. Fuck's sake. Fashtag haven't been invited. Why can't I say have been? Fashtag haven't been. <laughs> been invited to the I just can't do it to the search Janine pop-up stop oh my god Janine pop-up shop and for those hi guys Lewis <laughs> find out a little bit about fuck's sake I'm rambling